Hi and good morning from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, the KLIA Terminal 2, home of AirAsia Airlines. The departure terminal just recently redeveloped the duty-free stores to give us a more convenient shopping experience, well we certainly do appreciate that very much. Although certain areas are still under development. Flying around Asia, Air Asia Airlines is usually my first choice as it offers a wide range of routes and great prices. So here I am sitting again in one of their aircrafts and flying to Hanoi in Vietnam, a flight that takes only around 3 hours. After a pleasant three-hour flight I arrived at the Noi by International Airport Terminal 2, the biggest airport in northern Vietnam. Serving the capital city of Hanoi and located 45 kilometers from the city center. Upon exiting the aircraft you will notice that the Hanoi Airport Terminal also provides free Wi-Fi service. Well it's not that fast but certainly enough to tell your loved ones that you safely landed. Furthermore besides the last-minute duty-free shopping you are then also able to purchase cheap SIM card with high-speed 3G 4G network connection. And once you purchased all the necessary stuff and also exchanged your initial starter money into the local currency of Viet Dong you can now make up your mind on how to travel to the city. It takes you about an hour of driving or more, depending on the traffic and luckily at the Hanoi airport are plenty of transport options for you like booking services, car rental, taxi, or even public buses.
Finally, I arrived at my hotel, and I immediately asked myself, are two days enough for Hanoi? And my swift answer was, certainly not. You could undoubtedly spend more time here. But if you have a tight schedule this video will share some of the top things to do in Hanoi and ensure you enjoy the best of this bustling city in a very short time frame. We fly There are certain must-do things in Hanoi, such as egg coffee, you just need to try it, the train street. Yes go and have a look, the Hoa Lo Prison Memorial, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, the One Pillar Pagoda, the Coconut Coffee Plus Lunch Break, the Tang Long Imperial Citadel, the Temple of Literature, and then there is coffee and more coffee, get used to it, Vietnam has one of the best and cheapest coffee houses in the world. Also don't miss the Hon Kim Lake plus Nok Sun Temple, the Old Quarter. A must-visit part of Hanoi, the Den Bok Ma Temple, the Dong Xian Market, the Tran Quoc Pagoda, the St. Anthony Ham Long Church, the Hop On Hop Off Bus City Tour and much more. You're right, yada, 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 no you don't need to visit all these places, just go at your own pace and enjoy the city and most importantly enjoy yourself.
Starting with the old quarter in Hanoi, for me this is the best part of city, featuring an intriguing neighborhood, home to a mix of Vietnamese architecture, green spaces. Ancient shops and fresh as it gets street food, all of it is at best easily explored on foot. Yes, at first look, these 36 streets feel frenetic. But no worries, constant motion is part of the old quarter's charm. Grab a seat at a cafe and enjoy the action from a safe distance. You'll notice bicycle vendors selling fresh flowers and ripe fruit, old friends gathering for games of checkers, and cooks doing a roaring trade in steaming pho and bun cha. The longer you wander, the more you'll be rewarded with moments in hidden alleyways, secluded pagodas, and cozy coffee shops. At the end you'll just fall in love with it. You want to speed up and see as much as you can in the shortest time possible, well here we go. The Hop On Hop Off Bus City Tour, whether you like getting lost in busy streets, tasting delicious Vietnamese food, or admiring beautiful sceneries and fascinating architecture, Hanoi has it all. Hop on this city sightseeing tour bus and discover Vietnam's incredible capital at your own pace. Head over to the chaotic old quarter and visit St. Joseph Cathedral, one of the most famous landmarks of the colonial era. Wander through the windy alleys and explore Bach Ma Temple, which is said to be the oldest in Hanoi. If you need a peaceful escape from the chaos of the city, walk to the beautiful Hon Kim Lake and observe locals playing chess on the lakeshore, jogging or just relaxing as it comes. Then, stop by the Imperial Citadel of Tang Long and don't miss the chance to visit a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the city's most important historical sites. Hop back on the bus and make your way to Quan Tan, a beautiful Taoist temple built during the Lai Dynasty. Legend says four sacred temples were built in the four wind directions to protect Hanoi from bad spirits. Quan Tan Temple is the protector of the north. Hop off once again at Tran Quoc Pagoda, the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. Standing at 15 meters, this is definitely a sight you can't miss. Here are the stops, first stop Frog Garden or Terminal Stop, second, Central Post Office, third, Hanoi Cathedral, fourth, Military History Museum, fifth, Tang Long Imperial Citadel, sixth stop, Quan Tan Stop, seventh. Tran Quoc Pagoda, 8. Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, 9th, Temple of Literature, 10th, Hoa Lo Prison, 11th, Hanoi Cathedral, 12th, Vietnam Women's Museum. And the 13th and final stop is at the Hanoi Opera House, before getting off at the Dong Kin Nia Tuk Square.
Last but not least, Hanoi is about coffee, coffee and even more coffee. Yes indeed the coffee culture in Vietnam is a characteristic part of its cuisine, especially in the capital of Hanoi. Coffee was brought to Vietnam as early as 1857 during the French colonization and by 1950, the country was producing and exporting instant coffee, which placed the focus on Robusta. By now, Vietnam is the world's second largest coffee producer, harvesting over 1.5 million tons per year and accounting for as much as 40% of the world's Robusta and in the ancient capital. The Hanoians have made it a signature with multiple changes. Sipping coffee in one of Hanoi's old coffee houses is like sitting in a movie, across from a vintage French mansion. A small vanguard of young Vietnamese latte drinkers sit at tables spread along the sidewalk in the hazy late afternoon sun. Above, vines crawl up the sides of faded yellow walls towards quaint green shutters. Motorbikes whiz by beneath. The Vietnamese coffee mavens talk quietly over their coffee, observing the throngs going in and out of the well-known noodle soup shop on the corner. The city still maintains a sprawling and ingrained everyman's cafe culture. Until recently, the Vietnamese were firmly dedicated to their own coffee tradition, making an art of roasting and brewing thick, brain-shudderingly strong robustas. 
But a string of third-wave coffee shops across the city is building a new side to Vietnamese coffee. These shops find and roast the best of the country's beans, supporting the small Vietnamese Arabica market while refining the classically fierce Vietnamese Robustas. They also import coffees from around the world to feed the Vietnamese desire for new profiles and inspiration. What follows are a few of these outposts of subtlety and creativity in the Hanoi coffee world. If you are not addicted to coffee so far, you certainly will be, after leaving Hanoi. And with this I conclude the first part of my Vietnam North to South adventure. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next clip up in Northern Vietnam.